Welcome once again to the National Science and Math Quiz Program for the year 2000. In case this is the, your first time of joining us, I would like you to know that this is the medium for a healthy competition between schools in the second cycle institutions. It's a contest where the students answer questions in biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. We are in the quarterfinals of this year's contest, and this is our third contest in the quarterfinal series. I promise you an exciting contest because of the schools competing. Prempa College from the Ashanti region and St. Peter's from the Eastern region. We are almost ready to start, but first a word from our sponsors. Please stay with us. For a more active life, rich and creamy Amstel Malta, the international quality low sugar malt drink. Yeah, that's the way I like my malt drink. Amstel Malta. Low sugar with pleasurable taste and pure nourishment. For you to enjoy again and again. I like it. I like it. Amstel Malta. Look good. Feel good. Welcome back, viewers, to this third contest in our quarterfinal series. Now to the introduction of the contestants. Premier College is to my right and represented by Isaac Asant, third year. Patrick Kojo Japon, third year. Pong Kumudu, third year. St. Peter's is to my left and represented by Benadenim, SS3. Avonyoimon, SS3. Jiduan Pofujus, SS3. And now to the rules of the competition. As I mentioned before, the two schools, of, the two schools are competing by answering questions in these four subject areas, chemistry, biology, physics, and mathematics. The question that I pose is to the school, any of the contestants in that school can answer the question within the stipulated time. We are going to have five rounds of competition, and at the beginning of each round, I give out the rules for that round. We are starting with round one, and here are the rules for round one. Most of the questions here do not involve calculations. We give the contestants 15 seconds within which to give an answer. A correct answer is worth three points. If the answer is not correct, I may pass the question on to the other school for a bonus point of one should they get it correct. For the few questions that involve calculations, the contestant will have 30 seconds within which to give me an answer. Again, a correct answer is worth three points. If the correct answer is an answer to a bonus question, then the school gets one point. These are the rules for round one. Good luck, both schools. We are ready to go. And here we go with the first question to Prempe College. Prempe, what is motion? Uh, Patrick? It's the change of position of a body. Yeah, the process of changing the position. <laughs> St. Peter's. Uh, complete this sentence. That which is capable of changing the state of motion of an object is called... Jones. Force. Force. <laughs> Central College. What are gill rakers? Ah, Patrick. They are projections on the gill bars which are used for filter feeding in the fish to scoop off microscopic organisms. Mm, yeah, I think that's good enough. <laughs> St. Peter's. Give me two sins of the operculum. Bernard. It covers and protects the gills, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's also used in this um, respiration. That's it um, closes to um, decrease pressure in the buccal cavity so that water can be moved in. Yeah, so the continuous way of water. <laughs> yeah, it's not really respiration. It's just the water, you know, just the continuous flow of water. So that's why you got all the mass. Dr. College. If x minus y equals n, what is x squared plus y squared minus 2xy in terms of n? Yes, Patrick. N squared. N squared. St. <laughs> Peter's. 
if 2x plus 7 equals 12, what is the value of 4x minus 7? Uh, Bernard? 3. 3. Can I call it? I'll take, I'll take one answer. Okay. What is the OH minus concentration in a neutral aqueous solution at room temperature? Patrick. Thank you, the power minus seven molar. No credit. Okay. St. Okay. Peter's. Will the OH minus concentration in a neutral solution at 100 degrees Celsius be higher or lower than the concentration at 30 degrees Celsius, and why? Don't. It will be higher. Mm -hmm. because you have to give me why. If water dissociates into uh, OH minus and H plus, the KC value increases as the temperature increases. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I mean, not the case, the K, yeah, K equilibrium for the concentration. Yeah, Pemper College. The branch of science that deals with the relationship of heat and mechanical energy is called uh, Odro. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. <laughs> St. Peter's. A disturbance that propagates through a medium or space is called Jones. A wave. A wave. Temper College. One form of radioactive decay is positron emission. What is a positron? Odru? It is a particle with the same mass as an electron, but with a positive charge. Yeah. St. Peter's. Explain what is likely to happen to a carbon-14 atom when it undergoes beta decay, that is, when it emits a beta particle. Raymond. To form nitrogen-14 isotope. Yeah, to form a nitrogen. <laughs> colleague, given that the mean and the standard deviation of the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, are five and two respectively. In fact, this preamble to both schools. Remember, colleague, what is the standard deviation of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18? Isaac? Two. Two. Okay. <laughs> and St. Peter's, what is the mean of 12? The preamble is the same. The mean of 12, 13, yeah, up to 18. Yes, uh, Jones. No, Raymond. 15. 15. Give me three groups of animals in which molting occurs. Uh, Patrick. Crustaceans, reptiles, and chilopods. And chilopods. Insects. <laughs> okay. What's chilopods? Anyway? Uh, St. Peter's, in which groups of animals is there only one opening of the alimentary canal? Bernard. The platyelminthes. Platyelminthes. <laughs> well, I, you know, for, I think this is the first time that um, both, both students have had all the questions in round one answered correctly, and I think that we should give them. So if I were you, I won't bet on which, which school is going to win this contest. Anyway, I don't have any money to bet, so. Now, at the end of the first round, Premier College has 24 points, St. Peter's has 24 points. Now, viewers, let's move on to round, C, round two and see whether there will be a difference here. In round two, we asked questions uh, which, 
which are applied in nature. That is, we are trying to evaluate the contestant's ability to recognize signs in their daily life. This is the darkening. That's true. <laughs> Remember, colleague, when a piece of wire is bent, it shows permanent plastic deformation. Yet when a bending force of the same magnitude is applied back and forth repeatedly, the wire eventually breaks. Why is this so? Yes, Patrick. This is due to fatigue. As the wire is repeatedly uh, bent and straightened, the atoms are permanently straight and they break off. They, they are pulled apart and break off. No, I, I don't think. Um, I think I'll give a bonus to St. Peter's. <clears throat> uh, Bernard. Initial bending doesn't overcome the elast uh, elastic unit, but continual bending and straightening overcomes the breaking point where the, um, the part, uh, particles or the atoms can no longer come back together. They are broken. No. Now, when a wire is bent or flexed repeatedly, it becomes harder and more brittle. And that's, that's why it's bent, okay. St. Peter's. If the sum of X and Y is 12, and Z is 18, what is the arithmetic mean of X, Y, and Z? Uh, Raymond. 10. 10. Grandpa College, if AB equals 12 and BC equals 6 and all the three points lie on a straight line, what is the length of a segment joining the midpoints of AB and BC? Odru? Nine. Nine. St. Peter's, pick the odd one out and give a reason for your answer. Beer, ethanol, seawater, dilute HCl. Jones. The ethanol, mm -hmm. because the only organic compound present there. Mm. Beer. Well, I'll, I'll give you the point. I you know, when, when we are doing these kinds of questions, uh, it's difficult to think of all the possible answers. We had ethanol, though, but we gave, it a, we gave a different reason. We said that it was the only pure compound, which is also true, but what he said is also true. So, yeah, it's the only organic compound. Premper College. When a very narrow glass tube is put in water, the water level rises. Explain what makes it possible for the water level to rise. Yes, I'll do. This is due to capillarity, and it's caused by the, uh, the forces of coercion between the uh, water molecules. It's less than the force of adhesion between the water molecules and the glass walls, and hence the water rises in the tube. Uh, it's not less than, but I think you have in the, enough there for me to give you the, uh, the point. <laughs> Is that the attraction between that water? Not that it's necessarily less in, in, in between the molecules, okay? St. Peter's. Arteries have thicker muscular walls than veins. Why do you think this is so? Bernard. In arteries, blood, it, uh, blood flows at very high pressure, so the thicker walls um, uh, to withstand the high pressures due to the blood flowing in them and in yeah. the veins. Premier College, explain why fluid is expelled from the arterial end of the capillaries into tissues, into tissue spaces, but fluid enters the capillaries at their venous end. Odru? Um, the blood at the arterial end of the Capillary is under high pressure, uh, higher pressure than the fluid outside it. Therefore, fluid is forced out of the capillaries at that end. But on the venous side, the blood pressure is reduced. Therefore, fluid is forced into it because the pressure is less than 
uh, that of the fluid outside? Um, I'm trying to decide whether I should give you marks or pass it on. Okay, let me give you two out of three. You see, because uh, at the venous end, because of the pressure of the capillaries, that pressure is higher than the osmotic pressure. So that's why the water leaves. In the venous side, the osmotic pressure is higher. So it's because you didn't bring in the comparison with the osmotic pressure. Okay. St. Peter's. Why is the inside of a camera black? All right, Raymond. It's internal reflection within the camera. Well, okay. Uh, I think that's good. <laughs> Premier College. Why does hot water clean better than cold water? <laughs> Sorry, Odro. Hot water is much better at uh, dissolving the grease which holds the uh, dead particles to the fabric than the um, cold water. Because that's... Uh, Patrick. Hot water contains more energy and as such is able to vibrate the particles which are holding on to the surface and as such the bonds between them are breaking for, uh, breaking for them to be. St. Peter's for a bonus and to uh, Raymond. The dissolution of uh, substances increases with uh, temperature so that because hot water is, has a higher temperature than... No. The hot water is supposed to have less surface tension. And therefore, it wets. You know, if the surface tension is higher, then the molecules will cling together. But if it's less, then it will wet the materials more. And that's why it's supposed to clean better. Okay. Viewers, that brings us to the end of round two. For a more active life, rich and creamy Amstel Malta, the international quality low sugar malt drink. Yeah, that's the way I like my malt drink. Amstel Malta. Low sugar with pleasurable taste and pure nourishment. For you to enjoy again and again. I like it. I like it. Amstel Malta. Oh, Look good. Feel good. Well, viewers, we have different scores at the end of round two. Here we are. Premier College has 37 points. St. Peter's has... First riddle. I am a branch of mathematics. I deal with problems relating to plane and spherical triangles. Udru. Geometry. Ah, uh, let's go on. I was known. I was known to early Hindu and Arab mathematicians. My principles are based on the fixed proportions of sides of a particular angle in a right-angled triangle. I'm, a, I'm of practical importance in navigation, surveying, and simple harmonic motion in physics. My curves are all periodic, and the simplest are the sine and the cosine. So who am I to St. Peter's? Raymond. Trigonometry. Trigonometry. Let's move on to the second riddle. I am a thin sheet of tissue. I am in the support services. I contain blood and lymph vessels and nerves. I anchor the stomach and the intestine to the dorsal wall. Ah, Odru. Mesentries. Mesentries. <laughs> Our next riddle. Somebody could get this on the first uh, clue. Who knows? My name comes from a Greek word that means I smell. Hey, who? <laughs> Raymond. Bromine. In my natural state, I can see how, you see how Prempe is really relaxed. 
unless I get to the end, they won't pay any attention to me at all. In my natural state, I'm a blue gas. I undergo condensation easily to give a deep blue toxic and highly corrosive liquid. In the lab, I'm prepared by passing an electric discharge through air. In nature, I am formed in the upper atmosphere when oxygen comes into contact with um, the ultraviolet rays from the sun. I serve as a safe blanket around the earth, cutting out harmful UV from reaching man. So who am I? Patrick? Ozone. Ozone. Our last riddle. My name implies something very, very small, yet I am big in size. Besides, I do great things. One member of my family is simple, while another is scientifically said to be compound. You would think all members of my family have poor eyesight because they... Well, who ran the bell here? Bernard. The microscope. Microscope. Well, we'll come to the second half of round five. In this second half, the rules are that I make statements, a statement to each school, and the school should tell me whether the statement that I have made is true or false. They have 10 seconds within which to give me an answer. If the answer is correct, they get two points. If the answer is not correct, in order that they don't guess, they get a point deducted from the marks that they have already earned. They may opt not to answer whether the statement is true or false, in which case I pass the statement on to the other school for two points if they get it correct or minus one if they don't. Good luck. I don't know what the scores are, but I think that they are fairly close. So here we go. First statement to St. Peter's. St. Peter's, the positive square root of a real number is smaller than the number. Jones. False. False. Prepare <laughs> College, a cube root of a negative number is always negative. Patrick. True. True. St. Peter's, when the temperature of a reversible reaction, which is exothermic, is raised, the rate of the forward reaction increases to a greater extent than that of the backward reaction. Jones. False. False. If two liquids are immiscible, then their vapors are not miscible. Patrick. False. False. St. Peter's. Pressure applied to an enclosed liquid is transmitted and diminished to every other part of the liquid. Raymond. True. It's true. Cramper College. Pressure is not transmitted as quickly in an enclosed gas as it is in an enclosed liquid. Patrick. True. It's true. <laughs> St. Peter's. The pig and the cow belong to the same order of mammals. Bernard. True. It's true. <laughs> Grandpa College. The camel and the donkey belong to the same order of mammals. Patrick. It's true. The camel belongs to the Artiodactyla, the donkey to Ferrisodactyla. Okay. St. Peter's. A binomial multiplied by a binomial yields a trinomial. Jones. False. False. <laughs> Prepper College. The number zero 
is not rational. Uh, Patrick. False. False. St. Peter's. The most electronegative element is fluorine. Jones. True. True. <laughs> Prempe College. Helium gas and deuterium gas will diffuse at the same rate. Patrick. False. True. <laughs> St. Peter's. For liquids that do not wet a glass tube, addition is greater than cohesion. Raymond. False. False. <laughs> Rampa College. When one junction of a thermocouple is kept at room temperature and the other junction is kept at zero, a voltage will develop across the junction. Uh, Patrick. True. True. St. Peter's, all crustaceans live in water. Raymond. False. It's false. Grandpa <laughs> College, mature insects. Mature insects do not grow. True. Patrick. True. It's true. Well, be well, Patrick Santa brings us to the end of For a more active life, rich and creamy Amstel Malta, the international quality low sugar malt drink. Yeah, that's the way I like my malt drink. Amstel Malta. Low sugar with pleasurable taste and pure nourishment. For you to enjoy again and again. I like it. I like it. Amstel Malta. Oh, Look good. Feel good. Well, viewers, at the end of this exciting contest, here are the scores. Premier College had 86 points. St. Peter's had 87 points. of this contest and during all the uh, rules, I told myself that Prempe was the school to beat. It shows you how unpredictable sometimes the competition will go. This is really hard luck to Prempe College, but we'll see you next time. And again, let me congratulate St. Peter's for winning and going on to the semi-finals. Congratulations. Amstel Malta. Look good, feel good. Well, viewers, at the end of this exciting contest, here are the scores. Premier College had 86 points. St. Peter's had 87 points. of this contest and during all the uh, rules, I told myself that Prempe was the school to beat. It shows you how unpredictable sometimes the competition will go. This is really hard luck to Prempe College, but we'll see you next time. And again, let me congratulate St. Peter's for winning and going on to the semi-finals. Congratulations one more time. We have one more uh, quarter-final um, contest to come. And please make a date with me to see how St. Rose's girls will fare against Wesley Girls High School. Have a pleasant weekend and I'll see you next week.